live from Patty Nest's own basement, this is Super News. Hello everybody and welcome to the first Super News Report of 2023. I'm your host, and in today's top story, a bunch of cartoons are getting cancelled and everybody is pissed off about it. So just recently, shows like Inside Job and Pantheon have been cancelled by both Netflix and AMC+, even though both of those shows were just recently renewed. It sucks, both of those shows were great, and they deserved to continue on, or at the very least, end on their own terms. And now unfortunately they won't. The continuing disrespect of animation is unprofessional and it's disgusting. But on a lighter note, Phineas and Ferb is returning for two more seasons. Does that make up for all the horrible decisions that are being made lately? No. Not at all. But it'll be nice to see, you know, Perry the Platypus again. In other news, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania had a new trailer that showed off one of the greatest things the world has ever seen. And to talk about it is our on-the-field reporter, Pat. Thanks, Pat. I'm standing here in front of a green screen talking about Kang. Let's just say he's a force to be reckoned with, and Ant-Man, he's not looking too good. But none of that actually matters because the main one thing to be talked about in this trailer is Modok himself. Because he appears. No, not that shot. This shot. He actually looks comic accurate, which is really damn impressive. And he looks incredibly goofy and dumb and I can't wait to see him in action. But what I find really funny is that people online are comparing him to Mr. Electric from Sharkboy and Lava Girl. And I think that the main thing we can take away from all of this is that you should all watch The Adventures of Sharkboy and Lava Girl. Great movie. Back to you, Pat. Thanks, Pat. Now on to our final news story of the day. Fortnite. A couple of years ago, there was this leak going around that Peter Griffin might be a skin in the game. Now, since then, that rumor never really went anywhere, but that leak seems to be coming back, which means a Peter Griffin Fortnite skin might actually be a possibility, which can mean only one thing. Epic Games actually watched my video and 100% agreed with me, which, I mean, let's be honest, it's about time, it makes perfect sense, I mean, I'm, I, I, I know my stuff. And Epic Games, thank you for actually listening to me. Wouldn't it be hilarious if it wasn't Peter Griffin at all and I'm just making a fool out of myself? <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time. And that'll do it for the first Super News Report of 2023. I'm your host. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you want to be a pretty patty and enjoy some pretty super news. If you need me, I'm going to go on the floor and cry if Peter Griffin's not in Fortnite. Okay, bye-bye.